in case you missed it, June 4 saw Cancer Survivor Day. But wait, what is Cancer Survivor? Big word. Back then, I thought it sounded kind of like qualifying for the Olympics. Like jumping a tall hurdle. It suggested finishing the treatment to eventually be that thing. But according to National Cancer Institute, it is one who remains alive and continues to function during and after overcoming a serious hardship or life-threatening disease. In cancer, a person is considered a survivor from the time of diagnosis until the end of life. At first, I was cautious of throwing those words around to describe myself. But going by that definition, now that I have a cancer diagnosis and I'm not dead at the time of the shooting of this video, I guess you can count me as one. So how did we get here exactly? Here's my little backstory. My name is Peter I. Santiago. I was diagnosed with stage 4 squamous cell carcinoma in my left cheek in July of 2022. The diagnosis was baffling to us because I was leading a relatively healthy lifestyle. I played basketball, regularly exercised, and ate healthy for the most part. I never touched a cigarette as an adult, nor did I drink alcohol, except for that one time my friends needed help with their beer tower. What's its line? Recrease? Nobody has a f clue. But here's what I think happened. I met a girl at Starbucks. At the time, she was studying to become a doctor. I liked her so much that when I stumbled upon a magic lamp in sunny California, I wished to become close to that doctor. But this genie was evil and had a sick sense of humor. He granted my wish. I didn't get the girl, but instead a tumor started growing in my face. Now I've got doctors, nurses, the whole hospital caring for me. I get a kick out of that story. I guess the takeaway here is instead of wasting thinking why it happened, why it started, just make your own fun little story about it and leave the origin story to the real experts. Wait, was it the f plastic in this? fake strawberry smoothie that cost it.